vectors, now we can look at the intersection of two lines. So the line is going to be either parallel, and then we can check whether they are on the same line or not, whether they intersect at a point or they are skewed. So if you look example 1, you just look at the direction vectors. So 3, 2, 4 compared to 6, 4, 8. We can tell by inspection these numbers just two times these numbers. So by inspection, the lines are parallel. Not check whether they're collinear or not. We choose any value for lambda, choose one. Then the L1 becomes, we get 4, then 4, and 7. To get x equal to 4, we have to choose lambda equal to, so the mu equal to 0. So we get L2, 4, then 3, 2. Now if we compare, the x values agree, but the y, z don't. So therefore it's not the same line. So not collinear. Let's look at number 2. If you look at uh, the direction vectors, we've got 5, 2, 3, 2, minus 1, 0, because it's 0. This can't be multiple of that. So, by inspection, the lines are not parallel. Now we check the next possibilities, whether they're skew or intersect. So we have to solve two simultaneous equations first. So if we look at the line 1, so we write the equation for x as 4 plus 5 lambda. Then it's equal to line 2 minus 5 plus 2 mu. And then for y, 3 plus 2 lambda, 4 minus mu. Now because we've got 2 mu, here we've got 1. So if we just rewrite this equation, 4 plus 5 lambda equal to minus 5 plus 2 mu. But then here we times this equation by 2. So we've got 6 plus 4 lambda, 8, then minus 2 mu. So that's equation 1 is 2. Then we just add these two equations. So we get 10, 9, lambda equal to 3, the mu disappeared. And from this equation we get lambda equal to minus 7 over 9. Now we can go to any equation. So if we use this one, so we have a mu on the left hand side. We got 4 there and minus 3. Then it's going to be minus 2 times lambda, which is minus 7 over 9. So this gives us 1 minus, and minus make it plus 14 over 9. So 9 plus 14, 23 over 9. So that's equal to mu. So 
we've got the mu, we've got the lambda, then we write the equation for z. So we get just 3 lambda equal to just 1 on the side. If you put lambda equal to minus 7 over 9, so that's minus 21 over 9, the right hand side is 1, so this is not possible. Left hand side is not equal to right hand side because of this, therefore, the lines are skewed, they don't intersect. Let's look at number three. So we write the equation first, we look at the directions. 3 to 4, but then here it's a positive sign, then the two negatives, so this can't be multiple of that. So by inspection, lines are not parallel. Right, now we write the simultaneous equations then for x, 1 plus 3 lambda equal to 5 plus mu, 2 plus 2 lambda zero minus 4 mu. Now, because this is 4, so we multiply the top equation by 4. So we get 4, 12 lambda, 5, plus, uh, 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4 mu. If you just rewrite this equation, 2, 2 lambda, minus 4 mu. I'll just add these two equations. 6, 14 lambda is equal to 20. So we subtract 6 divided by 14, therefore lambda equal to 1. Then we can go to any equation, we just go to the equation top. So we have 1 plus 3 times 1, because land is 1, equal 5 plus mu. So we got 4 on the left hand side minus 5, that means mu equal to minus 1. Then we're going to write the equation for z. So it's going to be 3 plus 4 lambda on the other side 1 times minus 6 mu. Then we substitute lambda equal to 1. So 3 plus 4 plus 7. And on the right hand side we substitute minus 1. We get 7. Now we got right hand side is equal to the left hand side. Therefore lines intersect. Then we can choose, we can choose any L1 or L2. So we choose L1, 
Now the lambda is equal to 1, so that is equal to 1 plus 3, that's 4, 2 plus 2, that's 4, 3 plus 4 is 7. Well, we can choose L2, then mu is equal to minus 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4. 0 minus 1 times 4 is 4. 1 minus 1 times minus 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. So we can use any line and this is the intersection. These are the coordinates of the intersection.